I'm uh, Celie Burton. I'm a researcher and industrial designer at Synthet and I'm working on the Boost project and uh, I'll be talking about Work Package 2. We're uh, developing the Boost approach and uh, we're working on several topics and themes at the same time. We're both working on a service model describing what the service should look like and uh, we're visualizing it so that we can use it to get a common understanding of what it looks like at the moment and also uh, so that we can discuss and debate should it really uh, start like this or uh, we're missing something or this essential piece here should be different. Uh, so we're working very iteratively, we're, uh, that means that we're making a, we've made a draft and then we've had a consultancy workshop with teachers and uh, they've given us some extremely valuable uh, insights that we've used to modify um, the service model. And then again we're working on uh, discussing with the entire consortium and advisory board and getting inputs on what the service should look like. But then we're also working on developing a website, an important part of the service, where teachers can get inspired and also learn about sale and discuss sale topics and uh, what they're wondering about, what their opinions are. The website should contain lessons, teaching modules, and uh, also tools the teachers and other school staff use to work with social and emotional learning. An important finding both from a formative study and also with consulting with teachers is that it's really important that all school staff should be involved working with social and emotional learning. It's not just the teachers who play a role in and being models and working with the children. It's also the janitor, it's also the assistants and uh, office workers. All school staff are really important. When developing the Boost approach, we work uh, co-creatively and that means that we're uh, making one version and then we're testing it and discussing it with all relevant stakeholders such as teachers, other school staff, and uh, also policy makers and uh, researchers, so that everyone involved has the possibility of influencing how the service should look like. And that's an important thing to get everyone on board and also make it a service that is both attractive, something that the school staff will want to use and that can hopefully be a, a useful tool for them in their everyday work life and um, also a service that can be sustainable uh, that can live within the different uh, frameworks of each country but also the frameworks of each school. In the coming weeks and months we'll be continuing developing both the service model and the website uh, and uh, making it ready to start testing it this fall. And um, when we start testing it, it will still be a draft version. We'll, we won't be finished with it, we'll continue uh, collecting data and uh, uh, investigate how to improve uh, the service model and um, both the Boost approach and the websites during the test phase.